Welcome all. Uh, today we are going to discuss about the cutting and snapping section at the processor place. Uh, cutting line is the very plays a very important role in processing place, and uh, it acts as a human brain at processor place where uh, the entire system of the processor place is depends upon this section only. So where the entire system is depends upon this uh, cutting section only the and the focus of this cutting section will be productivity management and uh, less wastage and uh, reuse of half cut glasses and raw glass inspections uh, repacking and stacking and time management these are the things uh, where the cutting section will be focused so before starting the process and uh, the what are the ppes the ppes are very important in the cutting uh, section uh, so the following ppes needs to be used at the cutting area uh, in from the picture you can identify the goggles and helmet hand gloves arm guard and leg guard so this is the uh, necessary ppes you need to use in the cutting section wherever in the processing place so next uh, we are going to see about the what is this session is focused about uh, here this uh, precaution in cutting process methods of cutting types of cutting wheel and types of cutting oil snapping stacking optimization tools and do and don'ts in cutting section so first we will discuss about this precautions before starting the process so check the glass position and the required glass is placed at the trolley uh, means it's an l rack and uh, clean check the cleanliness of the felt and the uh, cutting bed area and check the air pressures whether it is working fine and check the cleanliness of the vacuum cups uh, vacuum cups cleanliness is very may plays a very important roles in the clear glass and coated glasses because whatever the dust is uh, settled in the vacuum glass chances for that to accumulate in the glasses uh, in that uh, further it will cause damage to the glasses and the manpower equipped with the ppes please ensure that the manpowers are equipped with the ppes and the oil flow in the cutting machineries and the cutting wheel selections depends upon the thickness of the glasses the cutting wheel will be differentiated so please ensure that the cutting wheel what you are selected is as per the thickness and the optimization with respect to the sheet size so optimization is also plays in a very important role in cutting places where we need to minimize the wastages uh, so please ensure that optimization is as per the sheet size what you are exactly going to cut next we are going to see the methods of cutting glass can be cutted in uh, four different ways mechanically thermally and water jet cutting lines and laser cutting lines so first we will discuss about the mechanical how we cut mechanically mechanically consists of scoring the glass and glass cutter in the wheel then applying a force across the score to produce a break this is a mechanically how we cut the glass uh, there are three methods involved in this mechanical how mechanically process uh, first is manually and the second is semi automatic and third is fully automatic so first we will see how we cut manually so manual cutting process is nothing like place the glass over the cutting bed and place your uh, t cutter from the edges of the glass and uh, use your uh, adjustable head for fixing the length and height and please ensure that the edge cutter ensure that the t cutter is placed from the edges properly uh, any deviations from this place will cause to the variation in the dimension of the glasses so please ensure that the edge t cutter is placed properly over the glass and before you are placing the glass sheet in the cutting table uh, you just check whether the cleanliness of the cutting table please ensure the glass cutting table is very clear and second for shape manual cutting the same scorer will be used uh, with a ruler in the place you can see the ruler which can be used for uh, manual scoring 
and uh, you can see you can uh, just see the this manual scoring will be mostly it will be used in the shape glasses. So, with the help of T cutter you can cut the glass sizes in flat glasses and uh, with the shape glasses you need to go with the manual scorer. And one more thing this manual scoring if you want to cut the shape glass you need to place that in some place they used to place the templates over the glasses and they used to cut the with the manual scoring. Uh, this is the shape glass cutting process and uh, next we are going to see about the semi automatic cutting table. This is nothing but the uh, same like a manual cutting where the uh, once you placed the glass over the cutting table, once you place the glass over the cutting table. Uh, the uh, CNC machine will start operating itself and it will cut whatever the size you required. And you please ensure in this season section also whether the cleanliness of the cutting table is fine. And uh, third thing is automatic cutting table this you can really see all over the processing place now this process this setup is quite common in all the places. Uh, this uh, I just explained you about the parts of this uh, automatic cutting table. You can see the loading table and you can see the cutting table here and this uh, this the third or last one is the unloading table and uh, I just explain you how it will works and before that uh, uh, this this needs to be taken care this air cushions where the air uh, compressed air will be passed through make the glass float over the bed and it is it will be very easy for you to move the glass here and around. And the maximum depends of the thickness of the glass the air pressure will be applied maximum it will goes up to 6 bars 4 bar to 6 bar. Uh, and there will say there will be a felt which used to transfer the glass from section to section means from loading to cutting table to the unloading table. Uh, so, please ensure that that air cushion nozzles are free from dust and please ensure the felt condition is good. Uh, so, these are the points you need to be taken care before you are starting your cutting process as we discussed earlier. So, in the automatic cutting table setup you can find how we lift the glass uh, through the glass lifting process it is a it is nothing but a vacuum chamber vacuum cups will be present over the channels and uh, it will just lift the glass from the L rack. And this is a double side tinted table you can see from this both from both the side we can take a glass. Uh, so, this is called the double side tinted cable and these are the vacuum clubs. As we discussed earlier please ensure that the cleanliness of the vacuum clubs and uh, just check whether the rubber conditions of the vacuum cups. So, I can show you the video how the glass transfers from the warehouse to the uh, cutting section. Uh, so, this is the video uh, uh, you can refer that video how it can be transferred.
So once the glass is uh, transferred from the L rack to the cutting table, the glass flows towards the scrolling area. So this is the glass cutting scoring area. You can see the CNC pre machine which will be programmed at whatever the size we required. So once the glass is uh, reached through the to the scoring area, the CNC starts its operations. So next we are going to see about the thermal cutting process. Thermal cutting employs a sharp flame to heat a narrow band of the glass. Uh, most commonly used in cutting glass of thickness less than 2 mm. So for thermal cutting process, uh, the glass will be placed inside the uh, setups and it will be cutted as per the requirement. Next we are going to see about the water jetting cutting area. So water jet cutting uses pressurized water forcing it through a small orifice and abrasive is added to the stream does the cutting. This mostly commonly used for shape cutting and fine and good finishes. Uh, fourth it comes is the laser cutting. Under laser cutting method a certain temperature is generated at each point of the plant scoring line by laser energy. And uh, you can see the advantage of laser cutting machines that is the laser cutting machine is for glass gives significant smooth edges and natural finish, high precision quality and uh, accuracy, rapid outcome and uh, most commonly it will be applied in decorative pieces, ornamentals etc. So cutting wheel, uh, cutting wheel in the cutting section uh, plays a major role. Uh, there, are, there we most commonly use is tungsten carbide wheel. Uh, the tungsten carbide wheel is nothing but a 90 to 90 percentage of tungsten and 5 to 10 percentage of the cobalt. Uh, you may know that tungsten is a very hard element, impacts hardness to the material, but it is brittle and it is particles once the particles breaks away. So most commonly used cutting wheel is the tungsten carbon wheel all over the world. So the cutting wheel angle will change depends upon the thickness of the glasses. So the, there you can see the cross section of the cutting wheel, uh, it just explains you about the wheel diameter hole diameter and thickness. As we discussed earlier, cutting wheel angle with respect to the glass thickness. So if you see from this chart 1 to 1 1.5 mm, they will use 125 degree angle, 2 to 2.5 mm, they will use 130 degree angle and 2 to 3 mm 134 and 2 to 4 mm 140 and 3 to 6 mm 145 and 6 to 10 mm is 150 and 12 to 19 mm 154 and 19 mm above 19 mm will be 160. So if you are use, if you are not following these norms with uh, respect to the glass thickness, it uh, will cause you the uneven breakage or uneven scoring and, uh, and uh, it will give a very irrespective finishes to the glasses. So you can see what is good scoring and uh, what is bad scoring. The, uh, if you can see the good scoring will have a single line and the bad scoring with the uh, different uh, scoring patterns. Uh, next coming to the cutting oil, cutting of, cutting of glass is easier and smoother with the use of oil. It's here the cutting oil will be used as a lubrication part when the scoring is taking part between the glass and the cutting wheel. Uh, so the glass. Uh, between the glass and the cutting wheel the oil will be spilled at minimum level and you should ensure that what the glass the cutting oil what we are using is a vaporizing type and uh, another quality of oil is that should be easily removable by glass washing machine and it must not create a undue contamination to the washing machines and finally it must be with a high vaporizing type. Please ensure these points while selecting the cutting oil. Let us look at the various cutting oils available. So non-mineral oil based totally evaporating cutting fluids includes ASCUT 5250, ASCUT 5503 and ASCUT 5929 and other products also is available in our local market. You, you can ensure what is the glass, whatever the terms and condition we requested and you can select whatever it is matching through it. So next we are coming to the snapping section. After scoring of the glass, you can see the video uh, about the snapping section uh, which will be played after this slide. 
so the snapping is nothing but after once the glass is cutted with the CNC machines or manual cutting this snapping part will be taken. Uh, the snapping is uh, it is separated into pieces of samples glass can be snapped in two ways by using a breaker bar or by using a pilers. Do not stop the compressor air during a stamp snapping and it is a vital for the glass to float over it. The, if the width to be cut is less than 75 mm pilers can be used. The thickness of the pilers changes correspondingly to the width. Check out in the supplier catalog before taking an appropriate snapping tool. Never use pilers as a pinching tool this will break the glass into small pieces. Once the glass is snapped stacking is very important uh, which will avoid damages to the glasses. Please ensure that the proper separator is used in between the glass and please ensure that the glass is stacked as per the sizes. Certain safeguards need to be placed in the at the junction before stacking the glass you please ensure that the uh, trolley is placed in uh, stopping conditions. The wooden at the bottom of the stillage should be without any undulations to eliminate the chances of glass breakage. Uh, small glass sheets should rest over the large ones otherwise there is a heavy, very likelihood of glass breakage. So the best method is to keep uniformly sized glass is the same trolley. Uh, this also makes it easier to grid the glass in the double edger without too much of movement of glasses. For coater glass while you are stacking you need to take uh, some precautions. The coating side of the first glass should be always be kept away from the stillage as the content needs to be protected. So if you are when you are placing a first glass it should be in a reverse direction because that it will co the coating part will get contact with the trolley and the, there are chances for coating damage. And next glass should be always kept with the coating inside please ensure while stacking. Uh, there are different software tools are available for cutting and optimizations. Whether you are, you are in window, glazing, tabletops, mirrors, auto glass or other software will dramatically cut down the waste and maximize your profits. Minimize your wastage by choosing the right sheets. Uh, there are different softwares available uh, for example itemizer and uh, plus 2D, Lysag etc. Uh, sometimes uh, cutting manufacturer himself can provide you the good cutting optimization software. So this is how the glass uh, optimization looks. So you can find there are very less wastage uh, available in this area. So this is how it looks uh, it or this this sheet almost looks like a 95 percentage of field uh, good yields gives you a good productivity and there are some do and no don'ts to be followed at the cutting sections. So first we will see the do's, the cutting table should be cleared of all glasses, chips, splinters, uh, use compressed air to remove all remnants of glass splinters after every 5 sheets of cutting, uh, keep the colored bin away from cutting table, personal movement, use only a light vaporizing oil such as ASCAT 5250 or ASCAT 5503, replace the felt every year as a worn out felt leaves a mark on the bottom of the glass. All the operators should wear protective gear such as gloves, goggles and safety shoes and change the oil filter every quarter as the filter tend to get clogged due to prolonged usage. There are some don'ts to be noted. Do not use a broom to clean the table as it is ineffective. Never use a kerosene instead of a cutting oil. Don't work without PPE and don't use the same angle cutting wheel for all thickness it will unnecessarily create a scratches in the glasses 
and uneven scoring This is the auto loader where they are going to place the glasses, sheets in a station and they are going to pick up the sheets with the help of vacuum cups. You can see the vacuum has stuck the one glass and it is taken to cutting bed. Oh, yeah, now it is going to cutting bed. Now it is getting aligned with the cutting table. Through the conveyor belt, now it is moving to cutting bed. So now the glass is in the cutting belt. You can see one more sheet is getting lifted through the auto loader. See this is the order what the cutting person get. You can see this is the work order. The tracing of this order is done through the help of work order. In the work order sometimes there might be different specifications. So this booking number will give you the traceability. And next one the, if this is a particular marketing reference, marketing person who has referred to this particular order. And the customer name is Fashion B Enterprises. And the billing address is this is the billing address. If at all project name is there that will be mentioned here. And this is a tentative delivery date. That we, that we are going to do to the customer. If you see, this is the specification of the glass which describes the thickness of the glass is 10 mm and the type of glass is a clear glass and during the process it has to be done toughening and the type of edge grinding is CP and it is a rectangular glass. In this particular hour, if you see, the width and height are given and the area, square meter is given here. If at all the glass is having holes or cutouts, that will be mentioned here and the shape, it is a rectangular glass and the quantity is 2. During the process, the, the, during the process, this is the root card. You can say cutting, grinding, fabrication, design, tempering, lamination, DGU and dispatch. So through this process, the class is going to get and ready for dispatch. Now they are going to feed the sizes in the CNC machine. Here the intention, the main purpose of this cutting operator is to maximize the yield and minimize the wastage. So with the proper selection of sheet and the feeding of the sizes will give you the wastage and yield percentage. You can see that is a perfect cut. This is a software used for optimization. You can see the sheets and the sizes of the, that is parent and child sizes, size, child sizes you can see. Totally four sizes are coming in that particular sheet. Now first the head will be positioned in home position and now it is getting the scoring. So with the help of cutting oil, it will give impression to the glass. It will have cutting wheels inside the, that head. Based on the glass thickness, different cutting wheels can be used. For 12 mm thickness, we use 155 degree angle cutting wheel. Now it is making a marking on the glass. Now it is moving to the breaking table. Through the conveyor, now it is going to move to the breaking table. You can see the glass is moving through air. You 
can see the bottom you can find blower and it is moving through on air. Now with the help of tool they are able to make break the excess glass. This is a punching tool, pinching tool which will be used to remove the excess pin. Now he is writing the remarks or sizes or on the glass. So here we need to make sure that all the operators who are lifting glasses are wearing aprons, arm guards, gloves and safety shoe. Now you see, they have switched on the blower for the air and the movement of the glass. With the help of pedal they are going to break the glass, that is a breaker. Now you see, he is removing the excess trim on the glass. Come this So they will be noting the measurement whether that is as per the customer requirement or not. paper as the interleaving to avoid the direct contact to the glass. are sharp. Now it is going for grinding section. If you see these are all half cut glasses that is wastage. Means once the glass cutting is done these are all waste over pieces. You can see all these are half cut glasses that are kept on a trolley. Parent sizes and the child sizes. You see here shape he has clipped it. Now he is going to do a shape cutting. Now he is giving the border to the glass.
we select the appropriate drawing and giving the border to the glass. You can see the layout that is going to be get cut. It is a triangle and a circle that is going to be exhibited now. Now he is starting the expression of this thing. Cutting is done basically with one to two bar pressure and appropriate selection of the cutting wheel based on the glass thickness. Now you can see now with the help of cutting head and the wheel the glass is getting marked. Now it is picking the tool. Now it is doing marking. You can see it is taking a shape now. You see it is a circular shape. It is a circular shape. Now it is taking a triangle shape too. So in this with this machine we can do all types of shape that is required. Once the marking is done, now it is going to breaking table. Now it is going to baking table. You can see the impression. You can see the impression. Now he is going to break with the proper finishing tools. So that is a circular glass. Now this is that is a manual cutter. With the help of manual cutter, they are going to break the glass. That is a manual cutter. See how he is breaking. He is making sure that at the time of breaking the glass not get damaged. So you know you can see the circular glass has been cut. So he is pushing on the blower for the easy movement of the glass. having sharp edges that will be grinded in the next stage. Now online inspection will be done. Here he is measuring the dimensions of the glass as per the customer requirement or not. Now if you see for this particular circular glass he is measuring the dia. is measuring the dia for the circular glass. Thank you for this section.